So the main battle tanks of the major NATO powers are now preparing to roll into Ukraine and these will mark a formidable spearhead now for Ukrainian defense and for Ukrainian offensive operations in retaking territory that has been occupied by the Russians. The Germans cleared the way, Chancellor Olaf Scholz cleared the way finally for the country to send Leopard 2 tanks to Germany and that of course also clears the way for these tanks to be sent from other countries, primarily and immediately Poland and Finland. Poland, Finland and a number of other European countries have these tanks and they are battle ready. They can be supplied very quickly. The Polish president has said training will take no more than two weeks and very likely it has begun already. So we have the Leopard 2 going into Ukraine and also followed then by the Abrams 1 tanks of the US. The US and Germany were in a bit of a deadlock earlier. Germany said it will send its tanks if the US sent its Abrams. Finally, a decision was taken that both countries will send their main battle tanks. And of course, Britain is sending its Challenger 2 tanks. They are a quite different system. It's very likely that these three tanks, the Abrams, the Leopard and the Challenger, will be deployed on different fronts given their peculiar needs for servicing their ammunition that is quite different and also the need to give logistical support to the particular kind of machine that is being deployed. But Zelensky has now got what he was looking for, not quite all that he was looking for. We are speaking about a German company of tanks, that's about 14 tanks, 14 tanks immediately also promised from Poland and about uh, that many from other European countries in the immediate. Together with the 14 challengers, this will mean about 70 to 80 tanks that Ukraine can get in the very near future. And this can be quite a spearhead and quite a, a strong thrust into Russian enemy lines on a particular front on which they are deployed at a particular time. This could change the course of the war potentially, not entirely, not on its own, but it could prove to be the tipping balance, the tipping point where Russians are put back on the defensive even further. They have suffered heavily in this war. They do not appear to have armor that can handle these tanks, that can neutralize them or counter them effectively. They have said rather bravely uh, that these will burn in Ukraine but we've had statements from Russia more than effective retaliation so far.